Hello and welcome to 4605 Rain Meadow, Kettering, Ohio. I'm standing out in front of this home right now and this is gorgeous curb appeal. Right now all of the perennials and everything are not in bloom right now but once here in just a couple of weeks everything's going to be in full bloom out here. But we have updated roof here, updated commercial size gutters, new soffit, windows have been updated. We have brick and stone on here, so great curb appeal. I'll walk up there and give you a closer look here in a moment. But we also have parking for an RV or a boat, 40 feet, and there is a 50 amp breaker out there for charging. Uh, everything that you need out there. Huge two car garage, tons of outdoor entertaining, tons of indoor entertaining. This house is 2,060 square feet not counting the finished basement. So guys, we have almost 4,000 square feet of entertaining. Next, let's get a closer look. All right, so here I'm walking up to the front door. This is the skinny elongated brick, which is, according to my buddy who used to be a brick salesman, some of the higher end brick back in the day, but a lot of great vegetation, just not in bloom right now. And here's that stone, just absolutely gorgeous. Large picture window here. And we do have a covered section of the porch here, and the stone does lead all the way around. And it looks like we have a newer screen door and a newer front door. Next, let's go inside and take a look. All right guys, so here I just came through the front door, and we're greeted by a ceramic tile entry, double sliding door coat closet over here. And here you see on the outside the door is black, and on the inside it is a wood color gorgeous door and guys that i am super super excited to show you guys this house there's so much to point out this video may be long but it's because there's so many cool things to point out first thing all of the ceilings these are curved right here so they're not square you can see it over there as well and all the way through here and we'll point these out as we go once we walk in we have our living room right here this is wood floor right here stone surround and a buck stove. And as you can see, that is being used right now and is putting out a good amount of heat. This chimney here was actually relined, so this is safe to burn. And we have the cove curve here on the ceiling. Living room flows right into the dining room. All the windows have been updated. This is a big picture window here with two side windows and the lights actually wreaking havoc with the camera. There we go, we're back to normal here. Now this, this leather furniture here, this was purchased from Watson's. This could stay with the home. It is an item that is negotiable. Large dining room here. None of this furniture is negotiable. All of this is going for sure, but there's quite a few things throughout here that is negotiable. This leather furniture here being one of them. And the buck stove does stay. So from here, we have the solid wood floors in here, entry, dining room, living room. From here, we can go back to the bedrooms this way, or we can go into the kitchen this way. I'm actually gonna go show you the bedrooms first, because the kitchen it was just redone and is super nice. So I wanna save that for last here. But we also have the family room right here. We'll give you a, a better look at this once the light gets a little bit better. We'll show you this here in a minute. That flows right in the kitchen. There we get a little peek, but the, all the light that's coming through the windows is just kind of playing havoc with the camera. So coming down the hallway, we have three bedrooms on this floor, solid wood doors entering into the bedrooms, hardwood floors in here. This is the smallest bedroom. This is in the back middle of the home. And one thing I like, there's ceiling fans in all the bedrooms as well. Linen closet here, solid wood door coming into the bedroom. Wood floors are in great shape. Updated windows in here as well. We do have an overhead light. The bathroom, this has been remodeled. We have tile floor, new top on the vanity, and this is all ceramic tile. And this is a bath fitters tub, which is high end stuff. I've actually tried to tear one of these out before and it was darn near impossible. So they put those things in there to stay. The owner's suite here, this is the largest bedroom and it does have an adjoining bath. We have a double sliding closet over here. This would be the front left if you're looking at it from the street. This too has cove mold. You might not be able to tell with the camera, 
but all of this, not cove mold, it's just coved. It's all coved all the way around this, which is just gives a great feel to it. Huge amount of space in here. Walks right into our master bathroom, ceramic tile in here. We have a new solid surface top, double bowl sinks here, and another sliding closet and a walk-in shower over here. So plenty of room for two, three people to be in the bathroom. And that's a king size bed and we have room to spare. So come back down, we'll go down the hallway. So all these three bedrooms. Now keep in mind guys, this is a big house. And it's also sitting on a basement that is pretty much the whole size of all of this as well. So I'm gonna walk over here so we can just get better light. This is like, looks like maybe a, a little addition area. So you can see all this light just pouring in is kind of wreaking havoc. Good, a good look at the cove mold here, updated lights. And then we have a little breakfast room area here. Very, very nice. We have the outside stone on the inside here. This island does stay. And if you look real close, we have marble, looks to be marble window sills. And that could be granite, granite or marble, some type of stone. Built in wall oven into the stone. Whirlpool refrigerator stays, all of the appliances stay. This kitchen was just remodeled. We have granite tops, all of the cabinets, everything custom made in here. Kitchen sink overlooks the back porch in the backyard. This is a pull out faucet. And again, all of this stuff is basically new. And I'll show you this in a second. It's awesome back here. <laughs> I'm gonna continue right into that, but pantry. And this is a good size pantry here. And this is all real tile on the wall here. It's not that cheap paneling. Half bathroom. So this is located right off of the garage here. Now from the garage, garage to the left, basement to the right. And this basically works as a mudroom because we do have an entrance coming in here to use the bathroom. So if you're hanging out in the backyard, you don't have to get the whole house dirty or if you bring the dogs in. You don't have to get the whole, all of the mess throughout the house. So kind of a mud room with that half bathroom. So sliding door here, and we saw that back door. We're just gonna come in from this way. All vaulted here, guys, this is awesome. We might have some light problems in here. I'll do my best. Double ceiling fans, and this can be used. These are screens, so it's not windowed. You know, we have like the cedar on here, and this is all on deck boards right here. Wind chime is going, as you can tell, you do get a breeze in here. So pretty much you could be out here in the winter time, but you're gonna get the breeze through here, but in the spring and summer, just fantastic. And you could put glass in there if you wanted. Now, you think that's it? No, wait until you see everything else here. Hot tub, that does stay. Just on the other side of the hot tub, we have a koi pond and all of the koi pond and the koi do stay. All of the fencing around here stays. And then look at how much additional entertaining space that we have here, just a massive deck. Now that shed right there, that is negotiable. That doesn't automatically stay. But even the patio furniture out here is negotiable. Yard is completely fenced in. Little garden area, compost area over there. And I believe that windmill does not stay. This uh, stork does not stay. But look at this, man, the deck goes all the way over there. And there is a gate going over to the RV. So you can have, uh, I believe I said on the outside, we have a 50 amp breaker out there. So you can plug in the RV, the boat. And then we even have another tier entertaining area over here as well. Uh, the lid to the burn pit does not stay, but you know, anything is negotiable with this house, the commercial size gutters. This is just a fabulous, fabulous entertaining house. And if you think the outside is great entertaining, wait until you see this basement. That's what we're gonna go check out right now. All right, so here it just came down the stairs. Immediately to our right, we have our utility area and check out the size of this utility area. Absolutely massive. I believe these countertops are brand new. Washer and dryer are negotiable. Tons of cabinet space. We even have under the stairs storage over there and a slop sink 
right there with, again, plenty of cabinet space. Now the main section of the basement I'm going to wait for last because I'm in love with it. Office area, or just a storage area, here's where our updated panel box is, right here. So plenty of storage space right here. This walks right into our mechanical area. This is where our newer carrier high efficiency furnace is. And this is also where our water heater is. And as you can see, plenty of storage in here as well. Now we're gonna walk back through the office. There's the staircase where we started. And I'm still gonna save the big section of the basement for last here. Have another office area here. Could be a fourth bedroom if need be, but it is in the basement. But it'd be a good sized room, playroom, whatever. But check this out. now. This is just one section right here. There's another section over here that that's where I start getting a little a little giddy about this basement here. Uh, fireplace here. This has uh, ventless gas logs in here, so you can't do wood down here. You can do wood upstairs. This room here is kind of like a panic room. It has a lock on it where you can store your guns or valuables in there. Oh, yes, 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 this right here. Uh, that is what makes me super excited about this house. But check out the size of the rec room. So we already have a living room and family room upstairs, plus a rec room, plus whatever the heck you want to call this, another rec room. Pool table stays or is negotiable. Uh, what's that over there? Another ping pong table room area over there. Now, unfortunately, this does not stay. But the bar, the bar stools, the pool table, the fridge, the ping pong table, all of that can stay. And this is a wet bar as well because we have the kitchen sink right there. Guys, this is, talk about entertaining house. You saw all of the stuff you can do on the outside. Well, winter time you don't hang around too much outside. Well, look what you have to hang out inside here. This is phenomenal. Now that door right there, that's where the furnace and the water heater was. So that does open and come into here. And this is all storage. All the way from over here, this is all storage. And this ESPN, this is an awesome ping pong table. That stays as well. Sump pump, you can kind of see the corner of it right there. And then boom, another full bathroom. So you don't have to go upstairs. Talk about sending the kids or the guests down to the basement, ultimate. Well, I'm being a bit sexist, but I'm a guy, and this is the ultimate man cave for me, I can tell you that much. I would have killed to have this as a teenage kid. And then, of course, what's going through my mind right now is uh, turning this into a theater room. So we have the theater room in the game room. Guys, there are so many possibilities, so many updates, so much entertaining space. This is an awesome house. It's not gonna last long. So give us a call as soon as you can, because this is the type of property that people wait years to find, and here's your opportunity to own it now. Thanks for watching.